4 and NBC. Just send your name, address, and phone number to Channel 4 Stereo Contest, P.O. Box 80, Nashville, 37202. Then watch WSMB Channel 4 weekday nights from 9 to 10 o'clock and look for the secret word. Next, if your name is shown just after the scene at 10, call us with the secret word within 10 minutes and win one of 20 stereo TVs from Circuit City, your stereo TV center. Be a stereo winner with NBC and Channel 4. I'm Kathy Martindale. Listen to Nashville 95 FM where every hour of every day you'll hear more music back to back. We guarantee it. That's Nashville 95 FM. All right, it's time to find out what's happening in the games and sports and stuff like that from Charlie Mack. Yeah, and, baseball and America's team and your team yeah. got right down the wire but couldn't pull it out. They never can. <laughs> the Braves and Mets locked horns tonight in New York, and it took a while for anybody to score. As we go to the highlights, we pick it up. Mets batting in the bottom of the ninth. Ray Knight doubles down the left field line off Paul Ostenmacher, and the home folks had a runner in scoring position at second base on the stand-up double. Next up, Tim Tuffle singles up the middle. Dale Murphy can't gun him down at the plate, and the Mets go on to win it over the Atlanta Braves, one to nothing in the bottom of the ninth inning. Here's the scoreboard. American Association AAA Oklahoma City wins it over Nashville tonight at Greer Stadium, three to one. In the National League, as you just saw, the Mets over Atlanta, one nothing in the shutout. Cincinnati won its second straight game, beating Montreal four to three. Eddie Milner's two out home run on the ninth won it for the Cincinnati Reds. Elsewhere in the National, Philadelphia beat Houston 5-1. And over in the American League, Texas won it over Cleveland. Yes, this is a correct score, 19-2. The Rangers set team records for hits and runs. They had 22 hits in that game tonight. In the seventh inning, it is the Yankees leading the Twins 4-2. And in the eighth, Kansas City leads the Detroit Tigers 6-2. Well, there are no NBA playoff games tonight. Game one of the Boston-Milwaukee Eastern Conference Final Series will be played tomorrow night in the Boston Garden. The second game of the Lakers-Rockets Western Final will be played tomorrow night at the Forum. Since there is no NBA playoff action, for those of you who need your basketball fix, here are some outstanding plays in the NBA from the past month. Watch. Good teams win with defense. Michael Cooper shows why the Lakers are the reigning champs. After stuffing San Antonio center Aldridge Gilmore, Cooper comes back for more against Alvin Robertson. 7-4, Ralph Sampson got the rejection slip, served by the Kings' Terry Tyler. And Bobby Jones with a great defensive play here, making the save for Philadelphia. Chicago enjoyed a save your as the incomparable Michael Jordan gave the Celtics more than they could handle. Buzzer-beating moments are also highlights of the month as Philadelphia's Julius Irving vanquished Boston with a desperation three-point shot. The Sixers got a taste of their own medicine as Washington's Dudley Bradley returned the favor. Here's Bradley's shot. And the celebration was on. Another action from April. Great teammate particularly showcased as this Magic Johnson blindsided pass to a Larry Spriggs. And Ralph Sampson got the helping hand from Akeem Olajuwon who slammed the Aaron Hook shot home. Jack Gregory, NBC News. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was named to the NBA All-Star team for a record equaling 10th time today. In the voting by casters and writers, Jabbar edged Houston center Akeem Olajuwon by a single point. Boston's Larry Bird, who has made the first team each of his seven years in the league, was the unanimous choice at forward. Bird is joined in the front court by Atlanta's Dominique Wilkins. Magic Johnson and Isaiah Thomas are the guards. Steve Miller, an outstanding forward for Clarksville High, will play basketball next season for the Air Force Academy Falcons. Miller has been accepted to the Academy and will be on a basketball scholarship. He led District 10 AAA in scoring with an average of almost 21 points a game. He had also received an appointment to the Naval Academy and he was recruited by several local schools. One final uh, high school baseball district score, a Gaddock shutout, NBA 8 to nothing. We'll have highlights tomorrow. Okay, thanks, Charlie. It was good while it lasted, but one analyst says the party's over. Gas prices are on their way back up. Oil industry.